The nearly $10 billion budget, the largest budget in state history, is now awaiting the governor's signature, rounding out a turbulent week under the dome. Full on a bridge budget. Um, I don't think that that is even finished right now. The budget that began the week as a giant question mark we now know includes $75 payments to individual taxpayers and $150 to married couples. DHS says more than $21 million will end a 13-year wait list. Tensions came to light Tuesday as nearly 90% of lawmakers signed on to a call for special session. Moving the state's nearly $2 billion in federal COVID relief money out of an account controlled by the governor, instead putting the money under the traditional budgeting process. It's murder. We done established that. What are we doing? The most extreme in the country. The child was not part of that decision. A bill that could become the most restrictive abortion ban in the country is on the governor's desk. The bill bans most abortions after fertilization, going a step further than Texas's ban after about six weeks. A child could be punished by their school for the way that they go to the bathroom. It would be in the manner of the place in which they choose to go in violation of school policy and of state law. A bill regulating what school bathroom Oklahoma students use is also sitting on the governor's desk. If a school isn't found in compliance, they would lose 5% funding. All eyes early next week will be on the budget and what the governor decides to do with it. So far, he's been silent on where he's at on the state's checkbook. I'm Oklahoma's own Storm Jones.